let's get into another wig tutorial you guys it wouldn't be me right if i wasn't doing some kind of hair video but this one is a fun one we are talking frontal 22 inches and i'm going to tell y'all now i think this wig is absolutely beautiful okay so let's go ahead and get into the wig details of course this is a love me hair wig so thank you so much love me hair for sponsoring today's video as you guys can see 22 inches of water wave this hair was absolutely beautiful okay beautiful the curls or excuse me sorry water wave because they're not necessarily deep curls it's like a loose wave curl but they held up so nicely and as you can see i'm running my fingers through it no tangles no fingers getting stuck so this is some great quality hair beginners this is for you this hair is already pre-plucked so you do not have to worry about plucking also the knots are already pre-bleached as you can see here and i'll probably get a little bit closer they're already tinted brown so no plucking necessary no tinting necessary you have 13 by 4 on this frontal meaning you have 13 going across the width which is usually from ear to ear and then you have four inches of parting depth okay for my girlies who like the clips and the extra security of course you've got your three clips around the center of the head and then you have one in the back also you have some adjustable strands as well that you can um adjust on the back as well as an additional band in between the middle obviously you're going to get a couple of goodies when you open up your box we've got wig caps which they did put the sheer kind in here you've got a comb you've got an edge brush and you have a melting band so let's go ahead and get into how i prepped this unit which was actually very minimal. I wanted to go ahead and give it a nice detox bath. So I just threw in a little bit of my shampoo that I had on hand, put some apple cider vinegar, and I went ahead and tossed it in there. I've actually been washing my wigs like this a lot here lately, instead of just washing them with shampoo and water and doing all that. I wanna let them sit because I wanna see how much comes out so as you can see the water i i've seen some pretty dirty wigs honestly this water was actually pretty clear considering or actually compared to some of the other wigs that i've dealt with so that means that it has not gone through a lot of chemical processing and all of that which is really really good so it's clean i went ahead and put some deep conditioner on there obviously this is a hundred percent human hair so i want to treat this hair just like it's my own hair growing out of my scalp so i want to make sure that it's conditioned smelling good and ready to put on my head okay so there is nothing that i'm going to do here i thought for a brief brief second i should plug just a little bit because i do like to have like a little bit more around the perimeter but because this is a beginner friendly install i wanted to show you guys that literally all i did was part the wig I didn't do anything else. I didn't plug. I didn't um, put the hot comb to it just yet. Actually, I didn't put a hot comb to it at all. I actually just parted it, combed the edges back, put a little bit of mousse, and that was it. And I honestly did that because I wanted to show you guys how minimal you like you don't need much very very minimal in order to get this wig prepped and ready to go to put it on your head i like to separate my curls on my mannequin head i could have definitely done this on my head and just fyi if you are a beginner and you don't have a mannequin head yet that is perfectly fine you can put this unit right on your head with it being wet and you could separate it that way but for me i like to put it on my mannequin head just because it allows me to see like each individual hair strand and separate it one thing about water wave hair is because the curls are a whole lot looser i want to make sure that when i'm separating um uh, separating the hair out that i am really pulling together or golly y'all if i could talk pulling apart not pulling together pulling apart the hair strands so that i am able to really get those curls defined I didn't want to bore you guys to death and have y'all watch me define this wig this whole entire time because it does take some time especially like i said when you want to pull apart each individual hair strand 
and try to get it separated as much as possible. But this is the wig when I got done. The curls looked absolutely gorgeous and I could not wait to put it on, but honestly, I waited 24 hours before I put it on. So this is the next day. Now, obviously, when we let the hair air dry, it's going to look a little stringy, but don't worry, I'm going to separate the hair while it's on my hair, while the um, spray is melting. So as you can see, I tried it on, but it was looking a little light for my, you know, for my comfort. <laughs> so I went ahead and took my lace tint spray. I put the, I did the inside first and then I took whatever was left on there and I did just around the outside perimeter, like actually on the hair or right there in front of the hair. That way I could have a little more color. And as you can see, it's blending much much better into my skin I'm gonna define that part a little bit later with some concealer but as you can see like I said overall it's looking a lot better with the lace tint spray on there versus when I put it on there without the spray now typically I do not like to put my wigs on when I already have makeup on I don't like it because sometimes I find that some of the makeup residue gets on the wig or there's like a little discoloration. Like I'll be honest, I am doing this voiceover the next day. I took the wig off at night, I put it back on and it looked even better this morning just because I didn't have all of that color there from my makeup. But anywho, because I'm doing it right now, I did go ahead and take a little bit of alcohol on my exfoliating scrubber. And I just took away the makeup that was right there in front of the hairline so that I could go ahead and apply the wig. So now that I have sprayed a little layer of my lace tint spray, which is all I'm using, I am not a glue girl, you guys. I am not a glue girl. I find that when I use glue, I've used glue two times on an install since working with wigs, and both times there was discoloration on my forehead, on my actual skin, that took about a week and a half to two weeks to clear up. So since then, I have not used glue. I will use my lace tint spray. I will use some spritz, but glue is going to be a no. Now, I'm not going to say that I will never use spritz, but I mean, not spritz, glue, but I definitely just don't see it in my or on my radar. But anyway, I digress. I'm about to get into a whole nother spiel. So my crazy self forgot to cut my ear taps before I spray, but that's the good thing about spray is you can maneuver a lot better than you can with glue. So now it's time to repeat this process. I sat for about five minutes, sprayed, dried, sprayed, dried. And the thing that I find most helpful when I'm using the lace tint spray, or not the lace tint spray, the lace melting spray, is to do smaller sections. That way you can control the amount of spray coming out because it does get sticky. It does leave like that tackiness around the hairline. So if you do smaller sections, and I normally like to spray it on my finger and then apply it, it's helpful. So while I have my lace melting band on, I am going to separate those curls. Like I told you guys earlier, I am just separating with my fingers. I am not running my fingers through the hair. I don't want to lose the definition. I just want to fluff it up a little bit more. So I'm taking each strand of hair and just separating it and fluffing it that way. Again, not running my fingers through it because I want my definition. Honestly, that was it. I did not have to take a hot comb to this hair like I told you guys earlier. No hot comb required, no wax stick required. All I did was put my mousse on there and after it dried overnight, it dried that way it dried kind of flatter in the root area and it left that really natural look one thing that i can't stand and this is no offense to anybody when we put these water wave units on and we flat iron the top it kind of takes away from the whole entire look Oh, I was just letting y'all know that I was going to wait some more <laughs> for my hair to dry. But anyway, I um, I just like how it looked a lot more natural with it air dried with no hot comb and no wax stick at the top of the hair. But if that's your personal preference and that's how you like to wear your units, by all means, go ahead. This is just how I prefer to do it and how it looks good on, you know, or how it looks for me and how I want it to look good on me. I'm just pointing out here that after I cut that lace off, I did have to kind of peel some of it back because I like to trim right on my hairline. And yes, that does require me to have a little bit of my natural baby hair left out. I'm okay with that because if I were to take this unit and completely cover my hair, this, this wig would literally be down to my eyebrows. And I don't like that. That would make my part halfway down 
on my forehead and I don't like that. So I just decided to trim it like that. Put a little more melting spray on there, dry it, separate the curls, define it with some concealers and voila. This it, that's it. I said this it. <laughs> that is it you guys. So simple and truly beginner friendly. And once again, like I said at the beginning, I think this wig is absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys so much for coming to today's video. If you've been here before, then baby, you already know what's coming. But if not, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, baby. And also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell as well. So you can see when the videos are going up on my channel until next time love bye oh 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 <laughs>